In the last video, we finished the deck boards on our Around the Tree play structure. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up benches on two sides using 2x4 Basics bench brackets. These plastic brackets from 2x4 Basics come in boxes of two. They cost about $13 each, but include all of the mounting hardware you'll need. I had to special order these redwood colored ones. You're going to need a 5 16 drill for the bolts, and I suggest a smaller drill to make pilot holes for the lag screws. You'll also need a half inch and 3 8 inch wrench or socket. To set up the brackets, I first drilled a pilot hole for one of the front lag screws. I found it easier to push the screw all the way into the bracket and tighten the whole thing down as a unit with a short ratchet. Then I'd use a level to keep the bracket upright when putting in the first of the two side lag screws. Finally, I'd use a socket extension to put in the last top lag screw without a pilot hole. If you have overhanging deck boards, you'll need to trim them off flush before using these brackets. I set the depth of my circular saw just slightly deeper than a deck board, and then I freehanded it. I had to use a chisel for the last little bit by the post. Once you've installed a few of the brackets, you learn what works and things go a bit faster but probably a third of my total time was spent just lag screwing these brackets into place. The tops of the 2x4 uprights need to be cut at a 12 and a half degree angle to make the top of the bench level. They are 41 inches each, so I was able to get two out of each eight foot 2x4. I used this concrete block under a BFR as an end stop, so I didn't have to measure each one. After I cut the first batch, I set the saw back to square and cut the ends off the other end of the 2x4s to make them all 41 inches long. You might notice that I left the labels of the long ends so that they would be cut off with the scrap. You can just leave the bottoms at 90 degrees, but since this is just about head height on my play structure, I wanted to trim the excess pointy bit off. My miter saw can only go up to 50 degrees, so that was the angle I used, plus I rounded them off on the belt sander. This is what they look like in place. To hold the uprights to the brackets, you just drill a 5 16 inch hole using the brackets as a template and bolt them on using a fender washer, lock washer, and a nut. I was using pressure treated lumber and the length of the bolts is very close, so I had to take off the lock washer, use the nut to compress the wet pressure treated wood a bit, and then I was able to fit both the washer and the lock washer onto the bolt under the nut. I used one of the 2x6 seat boards to mark the post that will be under the corner of the benches, and after transferring the line all the way around the post, cut it off with my circular saw. When picking which part of your 2x6s to be wasteboard, try and put as many knot holes and blemishes into the scrap portion of the wood as possible. The seat boards and top rail just use regular 45 degree cutoffs. I made sure I had both boards cut before screwing them in place so that I could line things up carefully and make adjustments to both sides. The instructions indicate a 3 quarter inch overhang on the back so that the 1 and 1 half inch 2x4 on the bench back lines up correctly. I used a clamp to hold the two boards together and screwed the corner before attaching either board to the uprights. You might have to carefully adjust a few of the uprights before screwing them in to maintain the 3 quarter inch overhang on the back. You can either carry the boards down to your miter saw on the ground, or cut them with a portable circular saw and a speed square. The seat boards are very similar to the top board, except you attach them to the brackets from the bottom using these pan head screws. You leave a 1 half inch gap between the two seat boards. In my case, I had to cut my second seat boards to fit against my upright 4x4 posts at each corner. The plans call for an additional 2x4 mounted vertically on the front face of this seat board, but I found that the dual 2x6s are plenty wide for sitting on. You can lay on your back to screw these boards to the brackets from the bottom, but if you have access to the edge of your deck with a ladder, I found it easier to screw them in from that position. The plans call for several 2x4s to be used as backrests, as well as protective rails below the bench seats. You'll want to choose the nicest looking boards for your backrests and put the ugly ones down low. Now for the only tricky part. Because the backrest is at a 12 and a half degree angle, if you want to join up two benches at a 90 degree corner, you need to make a compound cut, both at 12 and a half degrees and at 45 degrees. This allows the backrest boards to meet correctly at the corner. 
the top backrest board is easy to mount because you can just clamp it up against the top board. The bottom backrest board is supposed to be mounted three and a half inches above the seats. Anytime a plan says something is supposed to be one and a half or three and a half inches away from something else, they are telling you to grab some scrap 2x4s and use them as spacers. Unfortunately, the spacing on the middle backrest board is two inches. I guess if you put up a lot of these, you'd probably cut some custom two inch spacing jigs to use, but I just drew a line on the upright and used a clamp to hold the board to that line. I cut a few side pieces to go from my 4x4 uprights to the backrests, and they needed a 12.5 degree angle on the backrest side. My boards extended out past the end of my platform to the full length of the lumber, so after I marked where my armrest would fall on them, I carried that line up and cut off all of the excess using my circular saw. I had to finish off the cuts near the end with a handsaw. Incidentally, the guard on a circular saw is 1.5 inches away from the blade. So instead of getting your tape measure out, you can just use a 2x4 to set the correct distance. Once I screwed on the armrests, the bench seat was all done except for the staining. You might notice that I didn't bother to install 2x4 safety rails on the front of the seat brackets. If you are making a deck that is going to meet code requirements, you'll need to include these to keep a child from falling off the deck under the seats. However, seeing as how the other half of the play structure is wide open to the zip line and slack line, I decided making this half safer wasn't really necessary and to keep the sight lines a bit more open. Because I didn't want to stain my deck boards or corner braces, I had to put some plastic and masking tape down before spraying the stain. And here is the final play structure. <laughs>